Hello racing fans and welcome to Race Day Preview, another edition of Race Day Preview for Saturday, April the 1st, 2023. And the feature event is the King's Plate, that would be the penultimate event, the ninth event. They go 700 hour furlong and we have nine declares. So the feature event, the King's Plate, the ninth event, the post time for that event is 4.35 p.m. So please make note the post time for the King's Plate is 12, is 4.35 p.m. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. If it's the first time you're, in, you're seeing this channel, you're entering the best horse racing preview channel in the land. And please remember to tell a friend to tell a friend. And please remember to like and share this YouTube channel, Yard B TV. The first event, 11.45 a.m., is for restricted allowance four for native bread, five-year well and up, non-winner of three, imported five-year well and up, non-winner of two, and we have eight declared. Number one, traditional boy, second beating a four length behind the good life. That day, the good life was actually the controlling speed. Traditional boy was four length behind, coming from the number one draw. An easy opportunity now for the traditional boy to turn up in the winner's enclosure. Traditional boy is a live contender. Number two, Maya, very slow, slow like a snail. And based on this type of race, I think Maya, not much speed in the lineup, Maya will have it very difficult to come home. Number three, fourth line was beaten 19 length behind Freedom freedom star and last up in black up in grade back down to her happy hunting ground finish up her five furlong in one minute ten and four good enough for these consider that as an exercise gallop and expect fourth line to be very competitive come tomorrow afternoon number four simba the lion the controlling speed in the lineup if the right simba the lion turn up Simba the Lion will actually bury this field. This horse dwelt on last and expect this horse to run a better race, tuned to the minute by Wacky Lynch and Simba the Lion could be the controlling speed. And if Simba the Lion come away cleanly, he will be very difficult to beat. Number six, Zedda is boxing around, will find his race one day, while number nine, eight, sensational ending is here and here and there about seven and a half furlong won't be won't be too long for sensational ending if anton allen can hold this horse up and ask her to go the last two the sensational ending even though disappointed burning up a lot of cash every week as a glorious chance but for me i'm taking number three fourth line to get the better of number four simba the lion Number eight, sensational ending, and number one, traditional boy. The second event, they go six furlong. It's a made a condition race for native bread, five year one up, seven clear. The magic number in this event, the magic ball, number two, Mardell, show the last run through the window. Mardell should be there about at the business end. Number six, Silver Soul, was third by six length, been tuned to the minute by his trainer, has been rest up. Has been a working well. Lawrence Freeman, Kajavanil Patterson is in the saddle, and this silver soul will become running on in deep stretch. Absolute blue, the controlling speed in the lineup, and it could be the lone speed, and absolute blue could set off in front and prove very difficult to beat. And I'm taking number seven, absolute blue, to get the better of number seven, silver soul, and number two, Mardell. The third event. Is for three year well and up optional claiming 550 to 450 for native bread six year well and up non winner of four and imported six year and up non winner of three six declare number one duke of spring was a runaway winner in a time of 144 for a mile up in class very fit duke of spring will be there about at the business end Number two, Colorado Ranger, seven by 19 then behind Junker Jeff and K Boy up in grade now down to 550. Colorado Ranger is a dangerous candidate. 
Number three, gorgeous gift. Fifth by five length out of the straight. Gorgeous gift here could be a dangerous proposition here. A mile shouldn't be right up gorgeous gift alley. We see on the 24th of September coming seven furlong. This horse was second beating the three then behind a Jita here. And Bin Laden was third here. So this horse won't be deterred by the by the mile. So keep gorgeous gift on the right side. Number four, inspire miracle. Here was a runaway winner and last was five length in front in a time of one minute 37 and two fifth of a second inspire america even though chain stable has to be respected in this event number five xy sold the bridesmaid here we'll have it difficult amongst these coming this mile trip while number six sebastian is getting fitter and fitter in races close it Close up last time, third by three and a quarter length behind Zabaton and is be, has been busy on the exercise track. That means this or Sebastian is raring to go and his soundness level is up there. Sebastian will be there at the business end. And I'm taking number six, Sebastian, to get the better of number three, Gorgeous Gift, number four, Inspire America, and number two, Colorado Ranger. The fourth event, they go a mile. It's for maiden condition race. It's for native bred, three year old, eight declare. Number one, atomic energy. Fought by two and a quarter length, over six and a half furlong and last. Will enjoy a mile and is a dangerous candidate. Number two, leading lad. Here, found six and a half furlong, a try for short, run green the entire trip. Is being prepared by the trainer, Anthony Nunes. Information is out that this horse. Is a classic contender, so we have to keep leading ladder on the right side. Modern Miracle, somewhat of a disappointment. We have best left alone, while number four, California Gold, year by Lion Tamer, out of Blue Sapphire by Miracle Man. This California Gold will enjoy this uh, mile and should be kept on the right side. Number five, Home Alone, information is out that this horse is coming to run. We have to keep this horse on the right side. First time LASIK Home Alone, Soul Warrior out of Nuclear Princess by Nuclear Wayne. This Home Alone is a dangerous candidate we see on the 12th of the 3rd. This horse gallop out the shoot, seven furlong in 132 and 4. That's a winning work. And Home Alone, the first time LASIK could be the flying, the ointment. Number six, Phenomenal one was somewhat of a disappointment when back down to the tune of two to one here has been retuned by um, Jason Acosta and this phenomenal one here by Lion Tamer out of Doyle and by Distorted will enjoy this smile and we have to keep this horse on the right side. Number seven, Mr. Senator by Natural Selection out of Cadilla by Easy Real Thing broke slowly and last has been working well for this event and this Mr. Senator try keep this horse on the right side. This, uh, this race is a tricky race here, but I'm taking my chances with number two, leading, leading ladder, to get the better of number five, Home Alone, number one, Atomic Energy, and number six, Phenomenal One. But people, keep number seven, Mr. Senator, on the right side. The fifth event, they go five furlong straight, is for five year and up, optional claiming 180 to 150, eight declare. And we see number one contractor coming out of the number one jaw is very fit as found is very is, is form and contractor will be very difficult to beat. Number two explosive charge will become running on with the 57 kilo has to be kept on the right side. Number three come Bay Commander is a scratch. So please take out Bay Commander. Bay Commander is a scratch. Number four major will come running on is run his honest race while number five Estelita need to be get fitter. Number six, Hunter's Ridge was a runaway winner and last. We have to keep Hunter's Ridge on the right side. It's very fit. Anton Thomas is back to do duty. Hunter's Ridge is a dangerous candidate. While Money Marshall is groping to find form, will have it difficult, to, difficult um, against the top two. But I'm taking Contractor to make short work of number six, Hunter's Ridge. My third choice is number four, Matrack, to complete the trifecta. And my fourth choice is number eight. Money Marshall. The sixth event, it's a major condition race for native bred four year one and up, 11 declared. Number two, also oh long, has changed table taking all and all from Anthony Ferguson. This horse is a decent horse. Let's see what type of also oh long will turn up come tomorrow afternoon. Please keep also oh long on the right side. Number three, potential. 
seems to be an ordinary candidate. Best left alone, number four, Diamond Rock. Information is out. And last, that this Diamond Rock was coming to run. Didn't raise a girl up here. We have to keep Diamond Rock on the right side. Number seven, Dance with the Cat. Dance with the Cat is a dangerous contender. And Dance with the Cat is a dangerous contender, people. This horse, the figure eight is on. We'll enjoy this four furlong straight. And Dance with the Cat should be kept on the right side. Number 11, Lady Ben, will be the one they will all have to be drawn on the outside. Four by four length. Over the five furlong straight on the 20th of November. And this, based on that run, this Lady Ben will be very difficult to beat. And I'm taking number 11, Lady Ben, to get the better of number two, the dangerous also long, number four, Diamond Rock to run a better race come tomorrow afternoon and expect a good run now from number seven, Dance with the Cat. The seventh event, they go seven and a half furlong is restricted allowance. Three for native bred four year and up, not enough. Four and imported four year and up, not enough. Three, seven declare. Won't waste much time on this race. Number four, champion bubbler, 10 star banker. Champion bubbler by Tapatura out of Countless Clara by Sun King. Very fit. This horse is begging for this trip ever since she come to Jamaica and this champion bubbler will make short work of the opposition. Number five, Peak Blinder will run his honest usual race, very fit. Remember this horse have his gate problem, but he know how to win. So Peak Blinder must be kept on the right side while number six, Nefertari is fit and is jumping out of her skin. And this Nefertari was a runaway winner last and should be kept on the right side. But champion bubbler is my 10 star banker of the day and should make short work of number six nefertari number five pk blinder the eight of them they go six furlongs and we have 11 declare it's restricted allowance five for native bread four year and up not enough two imported four and up maiden and six furlong the drip number one jungle boogie Disappointed run on last. Expect a better run from Jungle Boogie coming out of the number one post position here. Number two, select me. Somewhat of a disappointment and last. Expect a better run from select me. We'd more appreciate the six furlong here. Four by five length behind four five and company and last. And this select me is fit as and can make him and should be kept on the right side. Number three, never on a Sunday. Best left alone. Number four, Joe. Run a disappointed race and last. Show that last run out of the through the window and joe will become running on joe is a dangerous candidate joe must be kept on the right side linton stedman is in the saga we see the wednesday the 29th of the third this all space five furlong in one minute 11 and three fifth of a second that's having in work and this horse is a dangerous candidate one like it coming out of the grassroots smith's barn here here is somewhat of a disappointment is best left alone number four AKS. Aka Storm will become running on. Is getting fitter. They call for Robert Aladdin to do duty. Keep this one on the right side. Number seven, Muzo. Let's see if Muzo will, he will love this five, the six furlong trip here. I think should be there about at the business end. While number eight, she's my friend, is getting fitter and fitter with races. She's my friend. Look as if she has put all the troubles behind her and expect a good run from she's my friend number nine storm are coming have it difficult against these leave number 10 give me a light need to be get lead to get fitter while Kata would catty will have it difficult against these it's a wide open event i'm taking number four joe to get the better of number eight she's my friend number six aka storm and number one jungle boogie the ninth event is the feature it's the king plate overnight allowance three year rolling up nine declare they go seven and a half furlong number one sir john best left alone number two el professor has broke into fine form el professor has been working well here i've been raising muscle 
since the beginning of the season. It's best left alone. Number three, Freedom Street is getting fitter and fitter. These four year will up in this grade. We have to respect Freedom Street. Freedom Street is a good horse and Freedom Street is a dangerous candidate even though up in grade. Number four, Eagle One might find this trip of seven and a half further out of his jurisdiction while number five crimson is running to decent form keep crimson on the right side number six horror ranking is a dangerous candidate people remember these four year old up in grade is a dangerous candidate and power ranking will be a dangerous candidate come tomorrow afternoon. Number seven, Big Big Daddy. If given the green light, now we're a mere 51 kilo. If Richard Henry can get this horse to relax at the back stretch, Big Big Daddy will be come running on and is a dangerous candidate. Number eight, Money Monster has been soaking in this class for quite a while. Everyone have come to see Money Monster up in this class and Money Monster will be very difficult to beat. Number nine, press conference up in grade with, 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 with 56 kilo. Even though up in grade, we have to keep press conference on the right side. It's a wide open event, the feature event. And I'm taking number eight, Money Monster, to get the better of number six, Power Ranking, number seven, Big Big Daddy, and number five, Crimson. The tenth and final event, they go five and a half furlongs, is restricted allowance two for native birth three year old and up for non winners of two and imported three year old and up maiden and eleven declared. Number one, Inspire Force will enjoy this five and a half furlong. Will it, we appreciate the strong angling of Trevor Slicer Simpson and Inspire Force will be a dangerous candidate. Number two, Delilah, broker maiden finally in 48 and one fifth of a second. Up in grade, this Delilah could be anything and we have to keep Delilah on the right side. Acknowledge me was somewhat of a disappointment and last. We'll have it all to do here. While number five, show girl is best left alone. Number seven, Burlap will be the one they all have to beat. Was second beaten a length and a half by no other than Booty the Chassier. And they finish up that race in one minute 14 and one fifth of a second. Has been working very well coming into this event. And Burlap will be a very dangerous candidate. Number eight, Curlin's Noon will be biting off more than she can chew. Number nine, Ridge Liner. Let us see the type of Ridge Liner will turn up. Bold prior to her race on last is race on last by Dreamliner out of M. Ma Grande by Zahize, I expect a good run from Ridge Liner. Number 10, vol Volatility, run a poor race and last. Probably might be need, need in need of that outing and last. Expect a better run from Volatility come tomorrow afternoon. While number 11, Platinum Force, is a very good horse, but I think we need more time. It's a decent race, the tenth and final, but I'm taking number seven, Burlap, to get the better of number one, Inspire Force, number two, Delilah, and good run expected now from number ten, Volatility. So there we have it, folks, race day preview. Looking at the ten race card on tomorrow program, Saturday, April the first, twenty twenty three. And please remember the derby the florida derby will be on tomorrow at gulfstream park so make sure you know you can go and enjoy the florida derby on at any otb in the island or you can go and enjoy it on your cable tv so please remember now to like, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel, Race Day Preview. And please remember, if this is the first time you're stumbling upon this channel, please subscribe, like, share, and subscribe. And please remember to press the notification bell so whenever a new content is up, you will be notified. Thank you very much for tuning in to Race Day Preview on Yardby TV. Best of luck and happy hunting.